Welcome to another gorgeous day here at Mills Motors located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we're having a look at the 2016 Verano sedan shown here in the very nice crystal red tint coat and under the hood you'll find a 2.4 liter four cylinder SIDI dock engine with six speed automatic transmission. Taking a look at the inside of the vehicle now, the upholstery is a combination of both cloth and leather. And just down here are some of the controls for the eight-way manual adjustable driver's seat. On the driver's side door, there is plenty of storage at the bottom there, as well as this beautiful wood grain trim. And just behind that are a few controls, which include window locks, power windows. And moving up here, we have the power lock and unlock and power mirror controls. Taking a step inside the vehicle now, and having a look over here to the left, uh, these are the exterior light controls. And then just below that, uh, there is some storage space for the driver. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel, these are the cruise control options. And behind that are the indicators. And then on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, these two are stereo controls. You also have hands-free communication. And then behind that are the wipers. Moving to the color touchscreen in the center here, this offers many options available with this vehicle. This vehicle has access to AM, FM, and XM radio. There are also multiple ways of connecting a mobile device, device to play some music from that. These include USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth. Moving down from there, there is uh, the traction control button, as well as the hazard lights and the trunk release. And down from there, these buttons control the screen up above and control the stereo system. So this dial on the top will turn the stereo system on and off and control the volume. This one down below will help you navigate the menu or choose a radio station. This home button will take you to this main screen with all of the options displayed. And the source button will help you switch quickly and easily between AM, FM, and XM radios. Below that, there is a CD player. And then we get to the temperature controls. This vehicle is equipped with dual climate zones in the front seat, so using this dial to control the driver's seat temperature and this dial to control the passenger seat temperature. I can show you up on the screen here how I can have the driver's seat temperature set to, let's say, 16 and the passenger seat temperature set to 25. So it just makes for a more comfortable drive for both the driver and the passenger. As well, this button in the center here will control the fan speed. There is also front and rear window defrost. Below that, there is some storage space as well as an auxiliary power outlet. And moving back in between the seats now, there's some more storage space as well as this electronic parking brake. We then have two cup holders and this very nice center armrest. Uh, this does extend nicely between the seats or it can expose some storage space just underneath. Uh, this does include a USB port and an auxiliary input. Moving directly up from there, there is this beautiful power tilt and sliding sunroof which is of course very nice to let in some fresh air, just some sunlight. However, if it is a little too sunny, simply pull this shade across and you can block out some of that sunlight. That sunroof is controlled by these controls just up here. Moving to the passenger side of the vehicle now, there's a glove box located just down here with plenty of storage space inside. As well, of course, there's some storage space on the passenger side door. And up by the handle here are the power lock and unlock. And moving down, you have this beautiful wood grain trim. And just behind that are the power window controls. Have a look at those very nice 17 inch aluminum wheels as we make our way to the back of the vehicle now. And located just down here is the color backup camera, which is very handy, especially when you're trying to back into some of those tighter spaces. And this does display its picture on the screen inside the vehicle. So to open up this trunk now, there's a trunk release button located inside the vehicle. There is also a trunk release button located on the key fob here. So simply make sure that the vehicle is unlocked and then press and hold that trunk release button and the trunk will pop open for you. Taking a look inside here, there is plenty of storage space to work with as well. There are hooks on the left and right hand side of the trunk, making it very easy to attach a net or rope to keep things in place back here and make sure nothing moves around too much. To close this trunk up now, there's a handle located on the right hand side. So simply grab a hold of that, pull downwards and the trunk will close very easily. Taking a look at the rear passenger side door now, there is some storage space at the bottom as well as this beautiful wood grain trim and the power window controls. Inside the back seat, there is plenty of storage space located behind both the passenger seat and the driver's seat as well. Behind the center console, there is an auxiliary power outlet as well as some more storage space down at the bottom here. 
Turning around, you can see that this back seat does fit three people quite comfortably. However, if no one is taking up that center seat, you can simply pull on this handle and down comes the center folding armrest with two cup holders, which makes for a very comfortable and convenient drive for the people in the back. What a fantastic vehicle, both inside and out, and it just keeps getting better as this vehicle is equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar. It also has its own 4G LTE hotspot, which means you can connect your mobile devices to Wi-Fi while in the vehicle, which makes some of those longer journeys seem just a little bit shorter. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is the 2016 Verano sedan, shown here in the gorgeous crystal red tint coat. And under the hood, you'll find a 2.4 liter four cylinder SIDI dock engine with six speed automatic transmission. If you would like to test drive this vehicle, we are located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa, and we would be very happy to show you that we will do whatever it takes.